It's probably really old. It could have been used in very old accounts going back, well, almost sort of 2,000 years. Hello there, I'm Philip Gooden. I'm an author. I write fiction and non-fiction, and my latest book is May We Borrow Your Language. One of the most curious words, uh, it's not quite a word I suppose in English, is the ligature at, which of course we use all the time now, or type all the time in emails and so on. In a funny way, it's, it, it's probably really old. It, it may be a version of uh, the Latin uh, word ad, meaning at or towards, and it could have been used in very old accounts going back, well, almost sort of 2,000 years. But it was picked up again uh, by Ray Tomlinson in the early 1970s, um, who was one of the kind of pioneers of messaging and emailing. And he was looking at the keyboard uh, on the typewriter uh, and looking for a symbol that wasn't very much used. And at fulfilled that function. It had been used in accounts, but, but only in accounts and by accountants. So it was a pretty dusty, neglected key on the board. And Tomlinson used it, uh, and the rest is uh, you know, history. And it shows that language sometimes is not just made up of, of letters, but it can also be made up of symbols and of course of numbers as well.